It's not quite commander, and it's not quite standard, so what is Brawl? Brawl is, without a doubt, Magic the Gathering Arena's best format. But it's not just regular Brawl, it's also something called Historic Brawl. And I want you to know what those are, their history, how you can play it, and I'm going to tell you all about it in this video. So I'm a person who has been playing a lot of Brawl, and a lot of Historic Brawl, but I think we need to start with what is Brawl? What does that mean? Brawl is a 60 card singleton format where you have 59 cards and one commander. Hmm, sound familiar? Singleton has a commander? The 60 card thing is new, absolutely, and what else is this? Instead of using almost every single card in Magic the Gathering's history, Brawl only uses standard cards. So if a card is legal and standard, it's probably legal in Brawl. There's always a few exceptions. For example, right now, Omnath and Pithing Needle are both banned. Uh, Omnath because it's very, very strong, and Pithing Needle because it allows you to hate certain commanders. Now, why would Pithing Needle be banned? It's because there's one other major difference between commander and Brawl, and it's that your commander can be a planeswalker, not just a planeswalker that says this planeswalker can be your commander. It it's any Planeswalker that's in Standard. So this also follows over to Historic Brawl, which uses every single card in Historic, can use a Planeswalker or Legendary creature as your commander, but it has 100 cards, one commander, and 99 other Singleton cards. There's also one other big difference, and it's the life total. In 1v1 Brawl, you have 25 life. In Multiplayer Brawl, meaning two or more players, you have 30 life. There's no such thing as commander damage in this format, and it's really originated as a way to play, you know, a fun singleton sort of game using cards you've already collected for standard. This was not actually an arena format to start. It was a paper format. Um, it turns out that when Dominaria released, they released so many new legendary creatures. In fact, I think every single pack had a legendary creature, including tons of uncommons, that this format was a great companion to it. At the time, though, uh, very quickly after Brawl came out, a meta developed, and Brawl, ooh, Brawl had to be banned, because it turns out that 1v1, where you have a repeatable way to turn your counterspells into filtering, it wasn't fun for anybody. So Brawl was the first ever ban, as far as I can remember, in Brawl. Hmm. There's also, I think I forgot to mention in this format, a free mulligan. Ah, very nice. Everybody loves to have a free mulligan. That's the same in Commander. And, I mean, if you're playing casually, you can take more than one mulligan. So Brawl was not that big of a format. Not that many people were playing it up until they decided to release the Brawl pre-cons. The Brawl pre-constructed decks came out at the same time as Throne of Eldrain. And because Brawl uses cards in Standard, the cards released for Brawl the Brawl pre-constructed decks were also standard. A lot of you remember Corvold being a major player in a lot of standard decks because, well, it wasn't printed in the set, but it was printed in Brawl, making it standard legal and making it a foundation of the various sacrifice decks that ran it. It's still occasionally played in Jun's sacrifice decks in Historic and Arena because it's just so strong. So there were four pre-cons. You had Chulain, that was a Bant deck, Alayla in Esper. You also had Corvold and Sir Gwyn. Um, that was probably the worst of them. She's still not that great. I still love her. She's a really fun deck, but I never quite get her to go off. That's the Knights and Equipment deck. These four decks came out, they had impacted Standard a little bit, and they had a launch into Arena. Magic the Gathering Arena actually did not have Brawl up until the pre-cons came out. They first ran a test event where they said, hey, everybody has free access to these pre-cons, come check them out. And then they launched Brawl as a full-on format where you could brew your own decks, where you took your favorite legendary creature or planeswalker and you built a singleton deck around them. That was way back in October of 2019 with the launch of Eldraine. That is, oh my gosh, that's over two years ago. Well, I mean, 
The format only came out in March 2018 with the launch of Dominaria, so it's really not that long ago in the grand scheme of things. It only took about, you know, a year and a half for it to come to Arena. That's not too bad considering how long it's taken for other formats, uh, Pioneer, still not in Arena yet, to come to our beautiful digital platform. So... This was a surprise launch. Nobody expected it. In fact, it was something a lot of people had been asking for because we love Singleton. I've played Brawl and Paper a bunch of times. It's not as good as Commander, but hey, when you don't have access to all of the cards in Commander, it'll do. It's great. This is the best format that people just don't play in Paper because there's better options. So, yeah, not very big in Paper. In fact, I would say at this point, with the Brawl pre-cons being printed... There was a small bump in a number of players who were playing it, and then it tapered off into, well, it's pretty much a format that only exists digitally. And then the pandemic hit, and I would say that Brawl probably has a few people who play it in paper. A few. If you do play Brawl in paper, you should comment in this video's comment section and tell me what you play because I want to know. I want to know who is out there maintaining and playing a brawl deck because none of my local stores have brawl events and it'd be kind of cool if they did, but I'll stick with playing it on Arena because it's a really fun place to play. So surprise, now we have Arena Brawl. But then we're starting to get bored and occasionally we start getting something even better than Brawl. In Arena, it's called Historic Brawl. I mentioned it before, it uses all the cards in Arena, which continuously grows. And, oh my gosh, it's so much fun! I have an entire series called Brawl Stars, which started as Standard Brawl, and now it's Historic Brawl. And it's just, hey, I have this commander, I built around it, check out my deck, it's really, really fun. In December of 2020, that was about a year ago from when I'm making this video, we started getting Historic Brawl events in Arena. And people love them. They would only last a couple days, and sometimes you would have to pay in order to enter into them, and they're going for it. They are putting in their gold so they can play it. But at this point, the Brawl queue had gone free to play. You no longer had to pay in order to play in it. It was a silly thing, by the way, that they made you do that at the start. Um, and everybody wanted more Historic Brawl. But there is no Historic Brawl on paper because Historic doesn't exist in paper. And again, you may as well just play Commander. So then, almost a year after that, only a few months ago, in fact, from now, in August 2021, <gasps> Historic Brawl gets its very own format. It's a dedicated queue that you can play in any time, and it's phenomenal. And everybody was asking for it, and I'm so glad we have it. But with Historic Brawl becoming an official format, it had to start getting bans. In fact, there was a recent wave of bans with the update to Magic the Gathering Arena that released Alchemy. I also have a video on that, if you don't know what Alchemy is, where they banned Ugin the Spirit Dragon because he is colorless and good, and there's no reason not to put him in most decks. They also banned Agent of Treachery because it's mean. That's, that's really why. It's power level, stealing one thing, not that big. When you start blanking it or doubling its enter the battlefield effect, that's where it gets nasty. Field of the Dead, because Field of the Dead is not a fun card. It's, it's been banned in a lot of formats. This is not unexpected. So you have bands, you have the format, and there's a little bit more to it. Now, normally when you go to play in a casual queue, you just queue up against somebody who has a similar MMR to you or somebody who's playing a similar deck to you or somebody who is, uh, you know, queued up at the same time as you. It really depends on what system you're playing in. If it's something like MTGO, it's really first come, first serve. If it's something like Magic the Gathering Arena, there's a bit of a matchmaking system. But the matchmaking system for Brawl is weird because it actually looks at the power level of your deck in part based on your commander and tries to match you with a pro appropriately power leveled decks. So, for example, if I'm running the Gitrog monster, everybody's favorite frog, I'll probably match up against things like Yarek or Muldrotha. They share a lot of colors and they're both similarly powered. Occasionally, I'll match up against higher powered commanders like Sithis or Kenrith. Sometimes I'll low go against lower powered commanders, maybe a Yara or something else that's maybe single color, or just doesn't quite have as many synergies. This has led to certain commanders being so high-powered that they only get matched against each other. It's kind of a fluctuating cue, but if you're a five-color commander, 
you are in the hell queue. The hell queue is where the best of the best commanders are stuck only playing against each other. Now, this is a spike's heaven and uh, everybody else's personal nightmare. So if you're playing something like Essica or Golos or even sometimes something like Sithis, Baral, these other extremely good commanders, Vadrek's probably going to end up in there too. You're all stuck against each other. Now, this is a floating list, but we do know what most of them are. And sometimes I'll get people in my chat on Twitch who say, Amy, I keep matching up against Winota. And I'll be like, so what commander are you playing? Winota. Well, yeah, Winota's in a hell queue. She's matching up against the other ridiculously powerful commanders because she's really, really good. So with these bands, it makes me feel like maybe they'll actually continue to maintain Brawl as a format in the future. So Brawl, getting frequent bans, not too necessary. There's a few bans that I would like to see, the number one one being Paradox Engine, because it combos with a stiff breeze. Honestly, you have so many different ways to combo with Paradox Engine, and I don't want to, like, wreck people's decks out of oblivion, but you're just like, oh, look, it's fiddles, whatever, and... Uh-huh, Sisse, and they're all just, uh-huh, Emery, you're all just comboing with the same card and that's all you do? Cool. Great. Mm-hmm. That's not fun. So, would love to see that band. Otherwise, the format, especially with this matchmaking queue, is really healthy, and you should check it out. That's Historic Brawl in Arena, and because it's Singleton, you only need access to one of each copy of a card to play it. So as far as budget players go, sure, you won't have the best thing or the most synergetic deck until you have a larger collection, but at least you only need one card and your deck will really not change that much. Because when it comes to Singleton, individual cards do not matter that much unless your deck is comboing around that specific card, like I was talking about something like Paradox Engine. In the future, though, we also have one more unusual thing happening, and that's alchemy. Changes to cards in alchemy now echo into historic and thus echo into historic brawl. If cards are also edited just for historic, like the ones that came out in Historic Horizons, that also impacts brawl. So I'm really hoping that Wizards of the Coast will be careful, especially around legendaries, and the cards they happen to synergize with to make sure that these cards do not get too out of hand or get too kind of dangerous, either like making them too strong or making them, well, unfriendly to play with. That said, there is also a, a secret format on Magic the Gathering Arena called Friendly Brawl. Friendly Brawl is Brawl with no bands. That's where the people go to play their Okos. It's uh, it's not a real format. You can only access it by direct challenging somebody. And Friendly Brawl really should be renamed Unfriendly Brawl. It's like, hey, what's up, Singleton with all the strongest cards? You can't stop me. Wizards of the Coast can't stop me. Nobody can stop me. Well, I hope after this video, some of you will take a minute to try Brawl and Arena. You are always welcome to copy some of my deck lists. The entire Brawl Stars video series always has the deck list in the description, so you can check those out on my YouTube channel. Enjoy!